How's it going guys? Revel here coming at you guys with a brand new video and today we are going to be doing something special. We are going to be reviewing one of my favorite players of all time. He's a center back and he just got put into SBCs for uh, Halloween today and that is none other than Gerard Piquet. Now when I saw this card come out about 20 minutes ago I was not sure about doing him just by looking at the base card stats. Of course pace is very important this year but looking at his attribute details he is something else now before we get into the review if you guys could please leave a like uh down below leave a comment down below as well and subscribe to the channel for more content uh fifa related and streams in the future you can follow my twitch if you want as well but enough talking let's get into the review so looking at this card he's six foot four that is amazing nobody can beat him in the air high medium i don't really look at work rates for center backs but i guess that's okay right foot perfect for the way i want to play him Weak foot, three star, two star skill moves, doesn't really matter. But now we get into the attribute, okay? So he has 72 pace, right? That's as much as Ramos, I think. So just keep that in mind when you guys are comparing this or thinking about picking up this card and you've used Ramos. Ramos has 72 pace as well, I believe. I will double check after this, but I believe he has 72 pace. Peak has 80 dribbling, 63 shot, 74 passing, 90 defense, and 82 physical. But look at the attributes. I, okay, he's got 61 acceleration, but he has 81 sprint speed. Slap a shadow on him, slap an anchor on him. I think he'll be good to go because chemistry styles do, in fact, work this year. Uh, his finishing is good. He actually scores a lot of goals in real life for Barca. His passing is amazing. 85 short pass, 83 long pass is great for a center back. His dribbling, he's got... Okay, the agility and balance is a little bit low, but everything else makes up for it, in my opinion. Uh, he's got 98 reactions. That's crazy. 95 ball control on a center back, even crazier. 73 dribbling, which is good. And 99 composure. Like, oh my god, 99 composure? If you knew my reviews last year, 99 composure for me was something amazing. I remember Ibra and De Rossi had it. It just, it, it changes the way that a player plays when they have 99 composure. It's much harder to get the ball off of them. They hardly make mistakes. They always make good tackles. Um, if they have a 1v1, they have a higher chance of putting it in the back of the net. So composure is really, really big on this card. I could see it playing a huge part. 91 interceptions, amazing. 86 heading, heading amazing. 91 defensive awareness, amazing. That's marking, I believe. 90 stand tackle and 88 slide tackle. Great, great, great. 76 jumping, uh, but he is six foot four, so keep that in mind. 71 stamina. Stamina does not matter on your center backs. 89 strength. Wow, that, that's crazy. And 77 aggression. So I'm putting it into perspective right now. We've had, I would say, about, what, 10, 15 player SBCs? And this is the first one that I'm going to be completing. Because I do believe for the value that you are paying for him. Hold up, let me look at the other squad real quick. Okay, well, this squad is an 84 rated squad with uh, one team of the week. And if you have invested, if you did take my advice on Twitter and you invested in some high rated players or like 84s, 83s, 85s, then you completed this fairly easy. If we take a look, I bought this Telez for 3.5. He's probably like 5k now. Pepe 2.6. Felipe 2.9. First owner. 5.5. First owner. 2.5. First owner. First owner. 6.5. First owner. So in reality, I'm paying about maybe 50k for this SBC because this one was like on tradables. I used my red Danny Parejo. I used a couple uh, in Inform. But yeah, for an 84 and an 85 with only two informs required, this is about going to be 100 to 150k SBC, and I do think it is worth it for uh, for PK. And if you are wondering why I'm putting this card in there, is because I already have his red version. So yeah, I'm kind of get, gonna get rid of him right there. So we are gonna submit the last squad that we need for PK. We completed him right here, and he is about to walk out. Let's just admire his walkout. Let's see how it looks. Look at that. Wow. And he came out in a PSG kit. Thank God he didn't come out in the Madrid kit because I have a Madrid secondary kit. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. So, yeah, that's the card. Looks amazing, right? Now we're going to open the two packs that we have. Pack an icon and probably end the review because I'm going to be too excited to... Uh, you know, continue. But actually, hopefully, we pack a, a shadow in these uh, 
in these packs because I actually do need to slap a shadow on him. Uh, we'll open the premium. Oh, actually, no, these are all players. We're going to open the premium gold players first. Uh, we're going to get an easy walkout right here. Oh, not a walk. I think that's the boards, though. No, it's not. Wow. Okay, so we got Maguire. Yay. I don't think he sells for anything, but we got Maguire. I think I already have him, too. Do I? Oh, no, I don't. Perfect. All right, just send everything a club right there. And then the last pack, the rare Electrum Players pack. This is where the Pele is going to be hidden. There's going to be a Pele in here. Oh, Pele, come out. Oh, my God. Oh my god, walk out! Oh, what is this? Oh, Matt Modric, 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 Modric. Oh, Modric! Okay, so. Alright, guys, we have just paid for the SBC itself. Uh, yeah, we got PK for free. You guys just saw that. And yeah, we just got we just got PK for free because we got the Modric in this. So can I get a GG in the chat? Hopefully you guys get lucky. Hopefully you guys get something. Uh, maybe I'll use. Nah, I'm not gonna use them. I'll list them. How much is he going for? Like nine, like 80k, 70k. There could be an Mbappe. No, there could be something in here still. Ooh, how much is he going for? Wow, 60k. All right, I'll take that. I'll take that. I'm gonna sell him. I just made all my coins back. And I'm very, very happy with that. So, we did get that PK for free, boys. We got that PK for free. Uh, I'm very happy with that. And we're going to go ahead and slap a shadow on him right now, I guess. How much does Abraham go for? I don't know. But we'll do that later. We're going to get it. We're going to pick up a shadow real quick. Move all items now. We're going to pick up a shadow. And then we are going to get into some quick gameplay. So, let me go into the market real quick. Okay, we got a shadow. We were able to pick up a shadow, guys. We <laughs> we were able to pick up a shadow finally after about like a minute or so. But we are going to slap a shadow on this PK. We are going to get into a game. I'm going to have to say goodbye to Eder Militao. And yeah, we're going to get into some gameplay. Uh, this is how my squad's going to look for the weekend league, by the way. But I am going to have to get rid of Coutinho and put in... Uh, what's his face? Put in Neymar. Once I sell all my investments, I'm going to have to put in Neymar. Uh, but yeah, this team is all a road to glory. We have uh, Ariola in goal. I'm probably going to pick up Ter Stegen. Uh, we got Militao, but he's gone now because we got this big boy. Oh, oh that looks so beautiful. Okay, let's slap a shadow on him. Wow, alright, now with the shadow on PK, he goes up to uh, 91 sprint speed and 76 acceleration, which is great, and his defending is like completely maxed out. I'm very, very, very excited to use this. This looks like an amazing team, it looks pretty scary, actually does look pretty scary, like hard to get past. And when we add Neymar in there, it'll be all, and this is perfect actually because my De Jong is on full chem now. But the thing is, Conte is not on full cam now. Huh. Huh. I might have to pick up Bernard or something. I'll just change formation so they're on uh, full cam. But that's how it is, boys. We are going to play with this team. Um, yeah, let's get into the game. And I'll tell you guys all PK plays. All right, guys. Now, <laughs> where do I begin with this card? Uh, first of all, I want to mention the clips in the background. The clips, I tried to get clips of every single time he came in contact with the ball or every single time he did something good defensively. But uh, what I want to say about this card is that, in my opinion, he is one of the best center backs in the game. Uh, not only for how good he is, but for the price. For how much you're paying for him and the packs you're getting in return. As you guys saw, I got the Modric in the um, pack opening earlier on. That paid for the player itself. Now I just get to enjoy the player and play with him until he gets outdated, uh, which is probably, in my opinion, in like three or four months because he is that good. Um, you're paying around 150k for him. That's how much a Ramos costs. And in my opinion, he's way better than Ramos. I used Ramos before, and I did not like Ramos's stock in game. Um, he was like a little too skinny. He wasn't. He wasn't. He wasn't thick like PK. PK is really girthy. He's really thick, girthy. That's what I like in my defenders. I like them. I like their presence being known. And a defender that you know, that you guys may know of, who makes their presence known in the game is Van Dyke. And this guy plays, I'm not saying better than Van Dyke, but he plays almost similar to Van Dyke in, 
in ways like where he has like a pulse. I don't I'm not a pulse, like he's like an octopus where if people are around him he just absorbs everything around them and he's like in his own little universe and he he intercepts everything, he makes every tackle. Like his presence is known when you're on the pitch. He's huge, he's massive, he's six foot four like Van Dyke. Um, like an Ebra type of player. He's huge. You know when you can't get around him. Like, if you put this guy next to Van Dyke in the back, I'm pretty sure people are going to have, like, the hardest time getting past you in game. But pace, that's probably one of the main reasons you guys are on this review. You want to know if he's fast enough. Yes, he is fast enough. You will see various times throughout the review, as you guys just saw right there, he created that uh, that goal right there. He made an interception. He catches up to Bale, to Dembele in this game, Morales. Uh, I want you guys to look in the 60th minute. He catches up to Dembele um, really, really good where Dembele was in front of him. So his pace is noticeable, and it is really – it's not bad. It's good. It's good. Um, Longley 75 pace, and he's perfect for me. He's as fast, if not faster, than my Militao for me. He feels amazing. Uh, there's nothing wrong with him in the pace department. Don't worry. Um, I want to say his best attribute is his tackling. His tackling is amazing. Um yeah, there's nothing more to say about that. He has a Virgil van Dyke-like tackle. He can make any tackle, slide tackle, standing tackle. Um, he, there was one point in the game where I made a tackle standing, a standing tackle. And I thought, I swear, I just gave away a penalty. But PK gave it, uh, he got it perfectly. He intercepted it. And it was it was great. But um, his passing is also amazing. There were a few times in this review where his passing did come in clutch. His passing is really good. Uh, his shooting didn't really shoot much with him. Uh, his dribbling, he does not turn like a truck. I can tell you guys that right now. He does not feel like a truck. He does not turn like a truck. He plays okay. There's nothing really wrong with him. Um, to be honest, on the dribbling department, agility, balance, don't worry about that. And his physical, he's really, really strong. Uh, he muscles off a lot of players in game, uh, pretty much anybody. I don't really see anybody out muscling this dude. Uh, just maybe like an Ibra, maybe a Ronaldo and a Lukaku, something like that. But he's, he's... He's a really, really good card, guys. I highly, highly, highly recommend that you guys do him. For 150k, 100k, whatever it is, you guys may have a lot of players in your club already. You could probably even do this for free if you pack somebody. Who knows? Maybe you'll pack an icon. Just I would recommend doing this because this is the first player SBC that I have done this year. And to be honest, it is it is worth it because he's amazing. He's going to be in my team for a couple months until maybe... Um, team of the year comes around maybe until i get van dyke or something like that but i truly truly believe he is the cheaper van dyke uh you guys see right there he got mad at the match in his first game uh eight out of nine passes completed six out of seven dribbles completed nine out of ten or something eight out of eleven tackles one he got mad at the match in his game an 8.8 .8 rating uh in the in a draw but he's he's really good guys he, i believe truly 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 that he is a cheaper option to van dyke I believe he's better than Ramos. I believe he's better than Varane. Uh, Militao, he's probably on the same level as Longley. I don't know. Barca's defense is uh, pretty good this year. If only they could play like that in real life. But, um, yeah, guys, I'm very, very happy with this uh, card. Um, I recommend that you guys slap a shadow on him for that pace boost. But if you guys want to slap an anchor on him, uh, that's your call, whatever you want. But I do recommend a shadow. Shadows are extinct. They're 5K, so get ready to break the bank on a shadow. But yeah, guys, I recommend you do him. I am giving him a 9.5 out of 10. Uh, he is a very, 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 very good card. Uh, he's girthy. He's, his stock is really huge. Um, he makes his presence known around the pitch. He has like an aura where he just absorbs everything that's around him. And I truly, truly feel like he's going to be a headache to play against in the weekend league. So if you guys did enjoy the review, uh, a like would be greatly appreciated. A comment down below would also be appreciated. A sub would be appreciated. And following my Twitch would be appreciated. And following my Twitter would be appreciated. And following my Instagram would be appreciated. And following anything you can. But I hope you guys have a great day. Good luck in your rewards in weekend league. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.